Regardless of how much automakers need to charge for trucks, it appears there will be a market. Passage, Ram and GM all have trucks that can push well-finished $60,000, something that would sound mind-blowing even 10 years prior. That conveys us to the 2018 GMC Sierra Denali, GM's big enchilada in the pseudo-lux truck section. It's stuffed with huge amounts of treats and highlights, however it's beginning to feel somewhat long in the tooth. All things considered, GM trucks are a portion of the top-of-the-line vehicles in America, so it appears clients wouldn't fret the age. Relate editor Reese counts, I've said it some time recently, yet I'm not a major truck fellow. Give me a Colorado or Tacoma over any of the full-sized behemoths moving off sequential construction systems today. All things considered, I do appreciate taking one home once in a while, particularly one as agreeable and very much delegated as this Sierra Denali. There's cowhide and wood and differentiated sewing all through. The issue is that it's each of the A facade over what's turning into a to a great degree dated truck, however another one is not too far off. There's one major thing that really pesters me about this truck, no keyless section or start. Try not to misunderstand me, I have no issue doing things the way it was done in the good old days, however when actually every other contender at this cost has keyless as standard hardware, the way that GMC, and Chevy so far as that is concerned, still expect you to haul out a coxcomb and stick a key into a start is extremely glaring. It needs to have a comment with the stage, as GM makes a lot of vehicles that don't require a key. One thing that doesn't feel dated is the ride and execution. This truck is furnished with GM's magnetic ride control, and it works ponders for the Sierra's solace. It would be far better on the off chance that it wasn't wearing some pompous 22-inch wheels, yet it's still superior to a ton of trucks out there. The powertrain, as well, is a decent brilliant spot. The 8-speed program is smooth and never feels lost in the chase for better mileage. The 6.2-liter V8 feels solid, and power goes ahead smooth and simple. Portage's Eco Boosts may win on mileage, yet there's not at all like a major, stout V8. Senior Editor, Green, John Belt Snyder, Despite the monstrous measures of blame I feel each time I put my foot to the quickening agent, huge trucks, something of which I used to stay away well, are starting to warm up on me. That being stated, others have established a greater amount of a connection on me than this Sierra. The Ram 2500. Ford F-150 and even the Nissan Titan all felt like they had more character than this offering from GMC. The things that influenced this truck to stand out in my mind weren't really positive, either. The eye leftward run down to the controlling wheel contrasted with the seating position, it closely resembles the wheel as marginally tilted toward the driver's side entryway, drove me crazy. The conveying running sheets felt shaky, which isn't perfect in snow-secured boots. A great deal of the touch focuses felt modest. There's not so much anything that emerged outwardly to influence me to like this truck. With my eyes out and about and my mind concentrated on the drive, however, it was substantially more pleasant. It's a genuinely calm truck, with not a ton of clamor advancing into the lodge. The ride was extremely smooth, it never felt hardened or bouncy, however it additionally didn't feel delicate or squishy. The suspension simply does its activity and remains off the beaten path. Also, However I felt remorseful doing it, putting my correct foot to the floor commenced an extremely fascinating, lovely, low snarl from the V8 that propelled certainty without raising my circulatory strain. I likewise discovered it moderately simple to put in my path, and I had a decent feeling of the size of the vehicle when blending it up in thick interstate rush hour gridlock. The feeling of quiet and security the Sierra manages is an uncommon treat in this portion, 